Allelu! Eivor, I am glad to see you. I reckon Flan and Barith have found common ground, seeing as you're still here. They have. Ara, and how much of your charm seeped into that conversation? I merely showed the High King I'm a Norse he can trust. It is more than that. You've certainly left your mark here. Sure, I think Flan is fond of you. Is he the only one? <laughs> You're not shy, are you? Just perceptive. We need to curry favor with as many kingdoms as we can. Flan said you could help with that. Aye. The kings of Ireland have long sent their grievances to the High King's court in hopes their pleas be heard. Their problems range from petty squabbles to larger issues. I've taken the liberty of sifting through them, choosing the ones that might elicit the best response. I see. The bigger the favor, the bigger the reward. There you have it. Keep an eye out for pigeon coops. That's where I'll leave any noteworthy tasks. Help solve their woes, and the kings will pay tribute with the men and supplies we need to invade Ulster.
Why hello, Eivor. Illuminated Gospels have arrived from Listero. Thanks to the new trade post you claimed. I'm impressed. You doubted me? I meant the manuscripts. The crafting is magnificent. Can you remind me what- I trade our trade post resources. Foreign lands can provide us with rare exotic goods. New contracts, new riches. Enough for today? Always a pleasure. Ah, a visit from my good friend. Care to indulge in profitable commerce?
We'll close the books on that. Farewell, Eivor. To the waves. Let the sail out! Strike of the tune. Let's hear a story. I came to England too late. That is the problem. The sons of Ragnar have shorn her of all possible glories. Everywhere I go, I find the footprints of men and women who were there before me. In my first weeks, I gathered many men and took them reaving. I lost my heart to an elderman's wife. <laughs> Kidnapped her away. But even that was not enough to raise the name of Rolo above the clamor. Other names but mine ring on the tongues of the Skalds. Hafden. Thrum, and Eivor the wolf kissed. Like the trees of a great forest, they shade those beneath, and nothing more can grow there. This land is full. Its glories are spent. I need to look to other shores, where I will write my saga into history. Save it! to cloak myself here.
My eyes. Best not to draw attention here. Stay Here. 
I'll need help. Come here a moment. A good horse. Let's get out of here. Your death has been avenged, my friend. Halfway there. See you, old friend. This place is heavily guarded.
saw that about?
I must not lose my way.
<laughs> hey, what's the matter? Monastery there, Eivor! A hand over here. Help me out here!
Give me a hand with this! Finn um dir grip an. Good Oscar for liking. Middle Runi Aina Stani, the mouth. I don't know More hal.
I must be careful now. <laughs> oh, fuck! <clears throat> My Thor, what's got into you?
my business partner. Azar, I am curious to know how you came to Ireland. It is not an altogether happy story. I was once the most powerful trader in Shiraz. Then I was betrayed. Ah, oh, that is hard fortune. By my partner. Worse still, a knife to the back is a wound that never heals. Constantinos was a friend of my father's. One whose greed devoured my family and empire. But now I am here, where I am surrounded by new friends. We are pleased you found us. I always enjoy the dance of trade. Very well. Another time. Ah, Eivor. A welcome vision for my eye. Many kingdoms desire to trade for our goods. Perhaps that's enough. I look f Guards here are vigilant. Shame in being patient.
fight smart. Use your glimmer. Shoot the troll kissing coward! Aid me. Be my eyes. Ugh. <sighs> 
I feel great. Sunan, guide me. See.
At the ready. We march soon. More or less, eh? The missing piece has arrived. Welcome, Eivor. Lord, this has the looks of a Norse war camp. Plenty of stout looking men. The fruits of your labors, Eivor. The kings you've helped have sent men and more as tribute. You have my thanks. Thank me later. A battle looms. <laughs> True enough. Your cousin awaits inside the tent of command. I'll soon follow to plan our next move. Ah, Eivor! Look at me, part of Flan's war council. Not bad for a vikinger, eh? You've gained his trust. I wouldn't say that, no. He's a bit suspicious of me, in fact. But he needs my army, so he holds his nose. Of course he does. Viking smell. My king, we are ready to deliver Alec a weighty blow. But our enemies are now alerted, and will rally in greater numbers. Castellor Castle divides Ulster and Connacht, taking it would isolate each from each. Castellor is a stepping stone to all the north. It is an imposing fortress atop a steep cliff. It must be ours. But for that very reason, Lord, it will cost us dearly to storm it. Loss of men is a price well paid. Victory will bring many more flocking to our cause. Take care, King. Your ambition may overleap your reason. What is your counsel, Eivor? Cunning over courage. A single spy slips in and breaks the gate locks. Then our soldiers flood in. It is worth the attempt. You seem to have a feel for this, Eivor. I select you as this single spy. Eivor? It's a good challenge. We have a scout near the castle. She may be able to help you.
Those defenses could stop the gods. <gasps> Show me what lies ahead. sight here. <gasps> Go, Sunan. You flawn scout. You are a bold adventurer to ask in these parts. Yes, I am. How might I enter the castle? Alone. You can try to climb its walls. A foolhardy move for such a small force. Is there a way to enter unseen? There must be a path below. Builders down there have reinforced the walls. A wily Viking could use their equipment to find a way in. I am that Vikinger.
Jesus could hide a lot in that hay. Best stay awake. Bravely done, Eivor. Cashelor will be ours! Eivor! I have your back! I count on you, cousin! Sack the castle! Go witch! Watch your flank! <laughs> 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 
your skull. My thanks. Launch you to a battle well fought and blood well spilt to Ireland. Skull. Ah, another cup, my king. Where's our court poet? This deserves a song. Eivor, it is essential that you speak with her. Kira, is she here? I greeted her arrival. She will build my glory throughout Ireland. Her song will be repeated in every village and hamlet. You, Eivor, with your keen eye, can give details of my bravery. The bravery of all my soldiers, for her to craft a ballad. I'll give her your message, O brave king. Beareth, you deserve another drink. <laughs> and you as well. Come back for another before the night is out. He's blazing like hellfire itself. Sure, sure he did. I saw it happen. I had nothing but a stick. Well, I held it crosswise, and I hoped for the best. I tried to help. I was too far, I was. He swung and sent the stick to splinters. He grabs me collar. He's about to land the mortal blow. Oh, I thought your tune was played. I look him in the eye, and he says, Is it yourself, Ronan? He knew me! It's me cousin, Connell! It was marvellous to see. Old Connell, always the good lad. Show it all, and 
What are you doing? Survey the area soon enough. You sing with conviction. It is the mournful song of the Leofal, the ancient stone you saw at the coronation. That stone, it seemed to... It... The legend is that the stone will bring woe. But the song claims if Ireland came to peril, the stone would rain a storm of wonders. From where would the song draw this wisdom? I do not know, but my mother sang it. My mother's mother sang it as well, and her mother and hers. Back to the very first woman of the isle. The mere sound of the words connects me to my ancestors and this fertile soil. You are lucky. I have left my land far behind. You need not leave to feel the land change beneath you. That's why I'm stuck in this court like some sort of dancing goat. Surely you can leave any time you wish. I can, and I will. But not until Flan rules all Ireland. Is he such a great man as that? He understands that to be king is to be king of all. Though I'm pagan, he made me court poet. He respects the old ways. I admire your passion. Thank you for that. Not everyone is so appreciative. I appreciate you for all your qualities, Kira. I've got more than a fine voice for singing, if that's what you're asking. Is that what you're asking? I'm asking if you'd like to take advantage of a nurse who finds herself alone with a bewitching Irish woman. Ara, don't you have a way with words, Eivor? And I'm not saying never. I understand. 
Ah, I all but forgot. Flon sent me to remind you to begin his ballot. <laughs> he needn't worry. I know my purpose here. If it is as glorious as that song was lovely, Flon is certain to gain many followers. Good night, Eivor. I'll see you in the morning. Slan. Good night, Kira. Beautiful morning. Ah, Barrett asked me to return to him last night. I should apologize. Stretch your wings, Sunan. Not again! of Loki. Speak, Harson! Who? Th that's the man, my king! You accuse Barris? Uh, it's him what gave me the poison! Seven silver he paid! Huh. The king of Dublin. M my king, I... I... Only the Irish were poisoned. Your deans are hale and hearty. My lord... Flattering words and servile gifts, all to mask treachery. My lord, you know this cannot be true. Danes don't use poison, and Barath is no man of guile. My king, it was him! He says to me, poison the feckin' Irish, he says. He, he, he threatened me life! Silence! Ah! Ah! Take this man away! No, 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 no. I do nothing! Kira. I chose to place you at my right hand because you see clear. Still, I cannot trust this Dublin Dane. My king, I have faithfully served you. Trust him better, lord. I said silence. Danes often fight for either side. Ugh. Barth, stay within these castle walls while I consider your position. I must first find care for my soldiers. You well know, my king. I have a friend who can heal most any malady. Ah. One of your scattered coven of forest-dwelling pagans? Let me speak with her. She'll find a cure. Ara, go. Take a soldier with you for protection. I choose you as my soldier. Meet me at the stables near the front gate. Barith, you should be grateful your head is still upon your shoulders. I am. By the gods, I am. Come, let us find my friend Deirdre. Who is this healer? She is a druid. Wise, despite her youth. Are you ready? I am curious to meet her. Poor Barath. I'm disappointed that Flawn even considered the accusation true. The poisoning had two goals. Disable our army and put the blame on Barath. But who's behind it? The soldiers cough blood. It must be the poison used by a druid cult, the children of Danu. Who are they? When the Christians came with sword and fire, some few druids banded together. Eventually, they vowed to destroy the Christians. They turned to mayhem and murder. Many disguise themselves and live among the villagers. What of Deirdre and druids like her? 
true druids oppose the Danu, but they are scattered and disorganized. That is why I am so determined to help Flan to the throne as High King of Ireland. He will stamp out the children of Danu, leaving true druids to carry on. Tell me more about your friend. Deirdre is a druid I have known for years. We learned together. You were once a druid. I was. There are many pagans and druids isolated in forests through all Ireland. This way, across the river. This land is unsettling. I'm unsure of the way. Follow the stone path as best you can. where I'm from. <laughs> Deirdre's hat. Eivor, she is a druid, so a bit... Eccentric? Yes, that's it. Eccentric. Kira, are you ready at last to return to the joys of the forest? Deirdre, this is my friend Eivor. I'm sorry to say we've come for help. Fear me. I hoped the auguries were mistaken. Children of Danu? Yes. Flan's army is spitting blood. You know what is needed. I'd hoped you'd find another way. What is this about? The children of Danu make the poison, but they also hold the key to its cure. Amber, made from the sap of an ancient tree sacred to them. Each child of Danu carries a shard of this amber. Once steeped in its owner's blood, the power that is held deep within the amber is set free. This is a somber request. How will I find one of these dark droids? A friend of ours tried to discover the identities the Danu have taken. He hoped to find one called the Wren. Then that friend was killed. The Danu are truly dangerous. You may find something in his abandoned house, up north near Port Orly trading post at the mouth of the Bali Sadir. I will find this Wren, steep the amber in his blood, and return once I have done. I pray the spirits guide you. What do I know of this child of Dano?
Let's hit the bastards!
Have a look. This area is off limits. Feel stronger already.
What do you see, Sunan?
Look great.
I need your eyes, my friend. Hey
Cast about this land, my friend. Let's go hooded here. To implant the poisoning. I will tell Deirdre and Kira and give them the amber stained in blood. Skull no war for some Tron Albert. Jesus had it. You think you can drink? Prove it.
Be my eyes soon. Dog in Olin. A balas may have been a folk. You'll go more from me that go. The buried ever mere in over a gallina. That known the Napa Fjard and Cossack Shul in Lawbridge. That is the mission of Tom Young. That's his far end of it. God grant me strength! God won't let us go! You! I'll your wife! Shouldn't be seen. Better be hooded.
I worried you'd come to harm. I did not, but the wren did. May the wren's blood ooze into the lonely earth and feed the forest with red milk. Give me the shard for the cure. The humors of the ancient tree live on in the amber now sparked by blood. Look, it turns deep crimson. The cure will be painful. The soldiers will writhe and plead to be killed as a mercy. But in a few hours, they will be well. Thank the spirits of the earth. The wren carried a note. A note? The poisoning and the plan to accuse Barith was the doing of someone called the Cursed. There is a cottage in Tuam where the Cursed hides. Perhaps we can find who made the poison there. It is a small hope, but hope still. It is nearby. We must go. Not yet. The cure is prepared. You must deliver it as quickly as you can. I will look for this mysterious cursed. You take the cure to Cashelor. Three or four drops on each soldier. No more. Thank you, good friend. Goodbye. Eivor, I'll meet you under the tree outside Tuam, heading south. The cursed will be your second child of Danu, Eivor. There are others. Were you to bring me all their shards, I could mix you a potion that would give you the first of the blazing sun. I will fell this one. Then I will think on the others and your mysterious son. Before you go, there is a darkness rolling toward Kira. Please watch over her.
If they see me, this will get messy. This is too. One of these cottages is where the cursed hides. Aid me, be my eyes. Jesus, guide my blows! Beneath the village, that is hard. Must be black from the other side.
Jane of Asur. We had Barton in the I should not be seen in this area. <sighs> mm, feel stronger already. Tragedy has befallen you. Oh, thanks be. You're not one of them. One of who? The Danu. Not like any druids I've ever seen before. They grabbed me and me mates. We got lost in the fog and me mates. Keep your wits about you. The High Druid calls herself the Cursed. She sacrificed them bit by bit. You understand? First a hand, then a leg. You should run while you're intact. But first, what is the curse of planning to do? She dragged old Finton to some ritual. Poor man. I daren't think what's become of him. Save yourself. I will. I'm done with this place. The luck of Thor be with him. A sacrificial ritual and something about a puka. It is not much, 
but Kira may know what it means. delivered the cure. Has Bareth escaped Flaunt's wrath? He has, and is much relieved. The soldiers are coming back to themselves. What have you learned? The Cursed will perform a sacrificial ritual. Sacrifice? Fae, the Cursed is then a High Druid. I learned that she is. But what does that mean? She wields great power. She will be protected by her acolytes. Not only her acolytes. I also learned the ceremony will be protected by a... a, a what was it? A puka. A puka? That will be dangerous, but we've no choice. The ritual will likely be held at Carnagan. We must look there. What is a puka? A kind of animal? A kind of animal? I will explain on the way. Come. You promised to explain about the puka. Sure. They were once marvelous creatures, able to take the forms of any animal. Now, they're dangerous. Is this a jest? Have you no such creatures in Norway? There is Fenrir, waltz to the gods, but he is unusual. Well, pukas are common in Ireland. Pukas. Sacrificial rituals. Is this your world? The children of Danu are an aberration. True pagans oppose them. Flan knows our traditions will disappear without his support. He has pledged not to let that happen. Careful now. Pukas are quick. Search for traps showing long claws and stay on your guard. Tracks. The Puka, follow it. Looks like a wolf. Because the puka is in the shape of a wolf just now. This fog enters into my head. Mine as well. <laughs> Did 
did the wolf speak? What in the Nine Realms was that beast? Wished. The ritual has begun. This way. Ah! <laughs> 
betrayed us. I curse you with all the powers of the moon. Your curses mean nothing. You drew back when we most needed your awful mice. And now... The cursed is dead. She accused you of betraying the children of Danu. I was once one of them. How can this be? Deirdre warned me against them, but back then it seemed the only hope. You knew these people. Why did you not direct me to the Wren? They only wanted to use me. Distrustful and secretive. I never knew their true names or anything about them. A glen of great beauty lies on our road. Find me when you're ready, and I'll confess my errors there.
Yeah. <laughs> 